All right, what's going on guys? Try back again. Here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my final video for this summer leading into The Walking Dead Season 7, referencing or talking about spoilers. Going to call it the Summer of Spoilers. And as such, yeah, spoiler warning, I suppose, for leading into The Walking Dead Season 7. Um, but don't worry, I won't be giving away too much, those of you who are privy to the, some of the spoilers that were that kind of came out this summer and kind of all the controversy that happened this summer with regards to the cliffhanger and finally us getting to see the cliffhanger now this uh, Sunday. Uh, it seems it hasn't let up even to the very last moment. So uh, it looks like the script now has been leaked. So Master Indra left this a message and I don't know if this is for sure, for sure. I don't know if this is verified. I have no idea. I'm staying right the hell out of it for now. Uh, I've waited all summer pretty much to find out what's going to happen in the premiere. And I don't want to ruin it for myself now, seeing as how we're only a couple days out now. Um, but he did say, and I thought I would include it in today's Q&A to start with, and just give my thoughts overall on everything that's happened this summer with spoilers leading into this season. Uh, he says... Or she says, Hey, Trav, did you hear about the script leak for the premiere? It's extremely in-depth, which scares me. If the script turns out to be real, uh, it'd be heavy, man. Um, so I hear about this stuff from you guys, brother. I hear about this stuff from you. But do I want to read it right now? Uh, seeing as how it's only a couple days and we've had to wait all this time, no. Um, and it also... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I've got some different questions here I want to go through with you guys and kind of just give my thoughts. Um, Torrid says, Hey, Trav, uh, we've heard so many theories about rumors regarding the first episode of the coming season. Do you think us fans will have any surprises at all? Or do you think uh, all these scenarios have been spoken about or released or leaked? Um, so great question from Torrid to uh, to tie to Master uh, Indra's. So um, has everything been leaked? You know, I mean, we'll find out for sure once the premiere hits. We'll know for sure. Some people think the spoilers are uh, are correct. There are others who think that they they're wrong this year and that maybe AMC may have purposely leaked some information that wasn't true to to misguide people. And that would have been cool if that's the case. Uh, at this point, I mean, I, I can't give you a definitive answer either way. I'm trying my best not to look. I see stuff from you guys in the comments. I hear about this kind of stuff, like scripts being leaked and this and that and everything. I hear about uh, potential lawsuits from AMC. I hear about all this different stuff. And, uh, you know, it's been a really crazy summer. I, I'd like to dub it the summer of spoilers because right after the very first week uh, that the season six uh, finale uh, had aired, I had literally within one week over a thousand people asked the same question, who do you think it is, Trev? Even though I did my predictions, even though I did that stuff, it was still just crazy. But I do think that overall, in terms of the regular fan base, uh, AMC's done a pretty good job of locking it up for the most part. Uh, there's still a lot of, uh, there's no consensus. Like I still have people message me. I saw a message two days ago that said, so it's Eugene, isn't it? Uh, and then I have one of my friends who, who messaged me because I'm his, his, his resident uh, uh, Walking Dead expert and said, uh, so it's Carl, isn't it? And stuff like this. <laughs> I was just like, do you want me to, do I don't want to ruin it for you. You know what I mean? So uh, it's still, there's been a lot of mixing. You have the trailer, uh, the, um, the, you know, and then after that you have the right hand man, which alludes to it being Daryl if you look at it closely. And so there's just been all kinds of crazy stuff. There's been uh, the talk about them filming it 11 times, which may or may not have been true. Uh, just all kinds of crazy, nutty things going on with, with uh, leading up to this year. So much stuff. It's like, what is true? What isn't true? I don't even know anymore. It's just crazy at this point. So like I said, summer of spoilers. It was fun anyway, because again, you don't know for sure, um, you know, who it is either way. But uh, for me, I mean, apparently, you know, and I guess I won't get into too too much specifics. Do I think the spoilers for this year are correct? It depends which ones you're referring to. Uh, for the most part, I would say I, I think I think so. I don't know about this leak. I'm not looking at it, so I can't give my thoughts on that. But uh, I think they are, um, you know, there's only so many characters that can be. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how it actually goes down when it finally does hit. Now it's only a few days away. I don't want to ruin it for anybody who, who isn't privy to all this stuff. But it definitely was a lot of fun this summer. It was pretty crazy, all the, all the drama and controversy over it all. And uh, I'm glad it's fine. I'm, in a way, I'm glad it's finally over because now... We're going to get to see the premiere and it'll finally put to rest all this 
argumentation and everything that's been going on. But uh, as Kirkman said after the season six finale ended, they love this stuff. They love people doing predictions. They love people uh, guessing who it is and, and, and thinking about who are they going to kill next and who's it going to be and just building up that, that uh, excitement for the next episode that's why they did it in the first place they did it for people like us so that we can debate and we can do all this stuff and did it work we'll see what the ratings are after the season seven premiere hits but i would almost guarantee you guys i almost guarantee that it did work for sure (laughs) he was right to do it and uh, it was painful but it was also fun the next one's from Sunbro. he says hey trev just as a quick reminder i live in europe and here in my country the walking dead airs on monday the 24th at 10 p.m so if you could not spoil stuff with thumbnails or titles uh, in brackets he says not that you do that but just as a reminder you're awesome so that's from Sunbro. so you got it man absolutely don't worry um you know that's something when i was new on youtube sometimes i make that mistake i know you guys in the uk and in other countries you don't get to see it sunday nights i feel your pain i get it and you can still say stay subscribed to the channel you don't have to unsubscribe i've had people say that uh don't worry i'll be the, the thumbnail for this episode for the reactions and everything uh, i'll try to keep it all about negan or rick or whatever um you you don't have to worry i'm not going to be putting the character or characters or what have you right in the thumbnail and uh, ruining it for you so that you know who it is. Um, Don't worry about that. When Tyrese was killed off, I used a different character. I think I used Rick for the thumbnail. I do it on purpose. I do it for you guys who are are not in North America because I don't want to ruin it uh, for you. Uh, Even though, is it good for the channel? Probably not. I mean, the channel would probably do a lot better if I did stuff like that. Uh, In fact, I know it would. But again, it's it's for you guys, and uh, you know I, I love doing this with you guys, and I don't want to ruin your experience with The Walking Dead either, right? So uh, that's what's up. So there you go, son, bro. Don't worry, man. Uh, I won't be doing that. It should be cool. Charlie Myers says, for the last time, we don't know if the and everybody talks about spoiling the dead fans. I couldn't believe that in an interview you can find this on YouTube. Uh, JDM actually talked about them. <laughs> like he actually referenced them by name. I was like, even he knows who. They are. <laughs> This is crazy. At this point, the dead fans, because you always wonder, like, do they care? Do they know? Even Negan knows about them now. Uh, They're infamous. Uh, Are correct. Okay, we don't know if they're correct uh, this year. First of all, the showrunner said that they filmed out of order to prevent any leaks. And the Spoiling the Dead fans uh, admitted to this. Also, Nicotero revealed that they have stunt doubles and dummies on set to appear like certain characters uh, are filming. Everyone likes to forget the showrunners kept Lenny James on set, who was Morgan, of course, uh, for a whole season without anyone figuring out that he would return. Uh, He slept in a separate hotel and filmed in a secret location. The showrunners are capable of faking us out and probably have. So so Charlie's predicting that we've got the wrong uh, character or we think it's the wrong person. So if Daryl gets killed, everything's going to shit. (laughs) Everyone's going to lose their fucking minds. Um, So we'll see, Charlie. We'll see, man. Hey, I'll tell you what. If you're right... And the premiere ends up being like that. And they kill Daryl or they kill Rick or something. I don't know, man. That would just be insane. But see, this is the fun stuff. It's fun not to know for sure, right? It's fun not to know for sure. Next one's from 08ABC. He says, Q&A, Trev. Please answer this. Greetings from the UK. Another one from the UK. See? So there you go. A lot of you guys from the UK. Um, at the NYCC, uh, Lauren Cohan broke down and cried after she was asked a simple question about her character. Whoop, Lucille's going down. Uh, one of them. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the older one. The custom one. So uh, I can mess with this one because I don't care if it gets ruined. Um, do you think she cried because she knows that Glenn or herself was killed off by Negan? Well, you know, she could cry. Like, you could you could make a... Okay, I haven't seen the interview where she, she was crying when asked simple questions. So I don't know. Uh, if you guys have it, link to it in the description. But... Um, if she was crying, you still couldn't say for sure it's Glenn or her because she would probably cry almost no matter who they kill off. Like, what if they kill off Daryl? Do you think she'd cry? Probably. You know what I mean? Like, probably. So could it be Glenn? It's like, I thought it was Glenn from the beginning. So yeah, it could be. Um, and that could help your case if you want to do a prediction that you think it's Glenn. Uh, do you think Negan will uh, trick the audience by picking uh, someone to be Lucille, uh, then saying something like, oh, just kidding, then picking another character? He would totally do that, wouldn't he? I also like the Mad TV skit where he's like making everybody wait forever to pick. It's kind of That's kind of like how it was this summer, 
<laughs> ready for the premiere. That would be insane. Keep up the great work. I've been watching your reviews since the beginning. So thanks, 08 to uh, ABC. Uh, and then we had a couple more. Um, so is the ring actually Glenn's pocket watch? And I think that's probably the leading theory right now. Either that or it's not a ring at all. It's something else entirely. Uh, do I still think it's uh, Glenn who gets the bat? Um, c kind of. I mean, we'll see. I've heard some conflicting things with that that he may not. But... I still kind of think it's it's probably gonna it's probably gonna be him uh, one way or another. Uh, Adam uh, Pereira says uh, if spoiler pages can say who was on set and when they were seen filming, why can't they just say who got Lucille? Whichever website say they are or are not on set might uh, not be exactly accurate. So uh, we'll wrap up with one more after this one. So. The thing is, dude, is that people don't want to get sued, Adam. People don't want to get sued. Uh, and also, again, it's really hard to say for sure. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's hard to say, like as, uh, as a person pointed out earlier, as Charlie pointed out earlier, because they could be wrong. They could be getting tricked. They could be getting baited. So it's hard to know for sure, right? And um, people don't want to get in trouble, right? Obviously, I don't want to get in trouble. Would you guys want? Nobody wants that. So... Yeah, absolutely. So that's why no one's going to come out and just say, for sure it's this person, um, without like two days later saying, for sure it's that person. Uh, Negan kills blah, blah, blah. Negan does this. Negan does that. Negan kills babies. Negan does <laughs> whatever, whatever gets views, man. Negan kills everybody. Fuck it. He kills everyone. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. Next question. <laughs> this is from Try the Man. And he says, Hey, Trev, like the governor, do you think Negan is going to get his own theme music? And have you read the Dead World comics? I haven't read Dead World, the comics. Uh, maybe I'll check it out later, Trident. So my apologies for that. But do I think Negan's going to get his own theme? Oh, you bet your sweet ass Negan's going to get his own theme. And it better be awesome. Because <laughs> the governor had a pretty good one. Negan's got to get a good one, man. It should be uh, should be fun. We'll see, what he's, we'll see what he gets. But it should be good. Anyway, that'll be it for today's... Uh, video guys uh there's as much as i can talk about spoilers without spoiling things for everybody so controversial summer lots of fun this summer just try to stay positive about it and enjoy it and and uh you know we're pretty much over now we're we're almost here so a couple more days try to try to hold it back try not to get into the uh, leaked script or something and ruin it for yourself is my suggestion to everybody use that self-control i know it's hard but I suggest that's what you do. If you guys like this video today, please write your comments below, guys. Let me know what you think about all the, the spoilers. I guess this is a spoiler-free zone. Anybody, uh, don't scroll down if you don't want to, uh, you know, get into this stuff because this is what it is, right? It's in the nature of the the beast. So if you guys like the video, please don't forget to thumb it up below. Uh, you can share if you got a Facebook, you wouldn't mind sharing through. I appreciate it. And uh, as well, uh, subscribe if you want to see all the videos for The Walking Dead season seven. I cannot wait. It's going to be awesome, guys. Can't wait. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys again soon for the Walking Dead video. As always, it's Trev. I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon. We subscribed to the channel yet? Oh, boy. Do I think we're getting close.